Assalamualaikum. Uh, good morning. Uh, today is the uh, lecture number two of the biostates course. In the today uh, lecture of the biostates, we will go to learn about the organization. Organization and display of the data. Organization of the data and the second one is the display of the data. Have the organization and display of the data is the parts of the descriptive statics. As I told you earlier, the descriptive statics we collect the information and we describe the uh, the data in the number, in the proportion, the percentage, and in the frequency table. Just to summarize the data and interpret the data and give the result in the proportion, the percentage or in the frequency table. So as we learn in the, in the statics uh, definition, C square O S I, the first one we collect the data and the second we classify the data and then we organize the data which is we will learn today. Organize, after the organization of the organizing of the data, the, the fourth uh, uh, phase of the in the studies, then definitely we will go summarize the data. After the summarization of the data, by using the different type of the statistical test, or by the uh, using the frequency table, or the we describe the uh, in the number or the proportion, the percentage, then definitely we will come up with the concrete result. And to give the meaning to this particular result is called the interpretation of the result. To understand more easy for the visual, for the learner, for the readers, the words this result is actually says. So in the today lecture we will go to uh, learn about the organization and display of the data. For the organization of the data, we will do, we will organize the data by the, by the tables. For the tables, we will use the two types of tables. Number one is the frequency table. Frequency table. In the frequency table, is again the types of the descriptive statics in which we collect the information, the huge data or the information that we summarize the, the data in the form of the frequency table. And the second one, uh, the, in the table form, we organize the data in tabulation form is called the cross tabulation. Cross tabulation. And the cross tabulation is again the type of the uh, table in which we organize and uh, arranging the data and summarize the data. But in cross tabulation, we will see the uh, the two data, the two type of the categorical data, two type of the uh, uh, quantity data to uh, summarize it, to organize it with the uh, with the cross tabulation. Suppose if you want to see the the age, uh, uh, the group of the age, the group to, of the age you want to see in, in the uh, in the sex, male or female. So it is you can organize or summarize the data by the cross tabulation to see the age group in the a in the sex wise, in the male or female. So you, you will use the cross tabulation. Now the second. Uh, uh, the main components of our today lecture after organizing and the summarization of the data or engaging of the data definitely we will come up on the uh, on the concrete result so how this huge result we will go to display in the form of the uh, we cannot display the huge uh, the whole uh, frequency table so for this uh, to visualize uh, more easily for the for the audience or for the students or for the learner or for the reader to understand your result is a more in a easier way so we will use the graph in the graph in the graphical form if you will present our data in the graphical form in the more easier for understanding uh, to the audience or understanding for the learner or understanding for the readers so for, we will use the graph for the different type of the graph for the quantitative data 
and we will use the different type of the graph for the qualitative aspect. As we all learned in the first lecture that we have the two types of the data. One is the quantitative data and second one is the quality data. So we have the different type of the graph for the different type of the data. So we learn more in detail in a two-day lecture set about the different type of the graphs, the bar graph, the pie chart and the line, uh, liner graph or the cluster graph or the and then the uh, dot, uh, dot plot or the uh, clustering plot and also you can say the correlation uh, graph and also liner uh, co correlation liner regression graphic uh, we will see the data in the graphical presentation so we will uh, hold uh, the session of today to here then we will learn more in detail tomorrow in the next lecture